Parents gave public testimony and pointed fingers at district leaders for causing unwelcome change for their children. This is the first time we're getting a look at a plan. Feel a little ambushed. Bellevue superintendent has announced which schools they're considering for closure next school year. Parents aren't happy. We've stayed in Eastgate as renters paying exorbitant rent, making sacrifices to stay in this neighborhood, stay consistent for our kids to be in this beautiful school. Both of these parents have students attending Eastgate, one of the elementary schools proposed for closure. Chad Thomas says his kids are very upset. They adore their teachers, they adore their administrators, they adore their janitor. Each school closure comes with a plan for movement. Here's what's happening on the south side of the city. First, it would send some of Spirit Ridge's advanced learning students to Woodridge. Then Eastgate students and staff would split between Spirit Ridge and Somerset. The people running the school board, running the school district, have gotten us where we are. Not my nine-year-old. The three elementary schools proposed for consolidation overall are Ardmore, Eastgate, and Wilburton. At some point in time, somebody at this school district can look one of my kids in the, in the face and tell them why they're not going to their school, why they have to go somewhere else. So I want some accountability. The superintendent cited declining birth rates, increased housing costs, and expected losses of Hold Harmless and ESSER funding as the reason this plan needs to move forward now. This Phantom Lake parent believes they're omitting something big. Stop the loss, loss to private. You know, that's basically where the students are going. If the consolidations do not happen, a district leader warned there could be district-wide layoffs. A lot at stake here and a spokesperson for Bellevue School District also tells me that the final decision will need to be made within the next 90 days, three months, uh, but no, but will not be made before community listening sessions are held for the schools impacted. Now, what about the facilities of the schools left behind? I'm told that they will remain within the district and will be used for instructional purposes. Those specific plans are still being developed. Reporting live in Bellevue, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.